Now, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta is advocating for enhanced protection of children and the youth from harmful online content that exposes them to vices such as cyberbullying, addiction, racism, sexual harassment, and online fraud. The First Lady says online risks and challenges require concerted efforts through advocacy and regulation to protect consumers, especially children, the youth, and vulnerable communities. The latest Communication Authority of Kenya statistics shows that 38.8 million cyber threats were flagged during the first three months of this year. To bolster online child protection, the government has rolled out the second phase of the National Child Online Protection Campaign, dubbed Huwezi Tucheza, to co cyber smart. The fortunate thing is that the internet never forgets. Any material that is posted on this vast dark space and involves children will still be there when they grow up, further impacting their adult lives. Speaking at the launch, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta advocated for enhanced protection of children and their youth from harmful online content. This initiative comes at a time when we have witnessed and celebrated the benefits of the internet around the world. There have, however, been security concerns that have arisen. Speakers urged relevant players in the legislative process to hasten the enactment of the proposed Children's Bill 2021, saying it has important clauses on the protection of children against online exploitation. The internet, with its many benefits, now occupies a hallowed ground within our social economic life as a country. And it is something that we as policymakers are now constantly called upon to keep in view. The Huwezi Tucheza Tuko Cyber Smart campaign seeks to inform and empower children and the youth with skills and information on how to use the internet in a productive manner as well as enable them to stay safe online. Sexual predators lurk in every corner of these internet superhighways and the UNICEF report I quoted earlier notes that 80% of children in 25 countries where the survey was carried out felt that they were in danger of abuse and exploitation online. Regina Manyara reporting for Prime Edition.